you don't need to be a pro to be able to create a forms like this in Revit. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can create this wave structure like Santiago Calatrava design for the Middle Museum in Dallas. So before we start with Revit, I'm just going to assume that this width of the, of the sculpture is 10 meters. I will put the length of 25 and I'm going to create the curves on one side. So what I need to do is to create one more reference plane. I will name it as Arctisi 01. We will make it to be 10 meters from this south part and then I'm going to go to this south elevation. And as I said, I assume that uh, our length is 25 meters and I will take a detail line as a help for now. And let's say uh, yes, it goes 25 meters and I would like to have the offset of let's say 125 and then 125 because I'm going to assume that uh, the top is let's say close to the two, two and a half meters and then I'm going to offset everything to for two and a half meters in this direction. Actually, I need just to clean this so we have the a nice grid and now I'm going to take a line tool I will pick north south so this is a model line and we'll take a spline so we'll just start creating it uh, this way now you realize why I made this grid and I will make one more but in this case, I can just uh, do the next thing. I will set the other reference plane. So it's this one. And we'll make it this way. Sorry, I took a line, not the, not the spline for the, for the model line. So you need to pick spline. And now when, when we are done with this, let's just go to 3D. And I'm going to open the mess and we'll create in place mess. So the first one is going to be on a reference plane uh, north south. And then I'm just going to pick the, the, reference, the, the line. And then the second one is going to be to the architecture. So pick the lines, then select them, hold control and create a form. Finish mess. And when you are done, let me just turn off annotation categories so we can better see our 3D part. When you are done, go to the architecture, then go to the curtain system, and then just uh, click here, create a system, and Revit is going to make this one. Then select it and create a new type. So in this case, I'm going to make, let's say, that we have now the second grid, and we have a distance here of 200. And let's say that we have this 40 by 62 for the mullions. Delete grid line. So you see how it looks like. It's quite similar. And what we can also make, if you would like to, uh, we just need to actually do one more thing. So we need to create here uh, the curtain panel to pick empty. And also we have a possibilities if we would like just to increase the size of the mullions. So you need to hover the mouse over one of them, click tab, and then unpin this, make a duplicate, let's say 150 by 150. Pin it back and then select the whole type. Go to edit type and then just for the mullions, pick this one 150 by 150 for all of them. Ignore this and here it comes. You see how it looked like. This was the principle of how you can create a form like this in Revit or similar forms. And it was quite simple as you saw. Uh, on the other hand, if you would like to know more about creating uh, complex forms on a very simple way in Revit, just take a look at this tutorial.